Student and parent protests against the state's latest standardized tests are gaining momentum, with more walkouts planned in the coming days. But there's confusion over what happens to kids and their parents who opt out of the test, and what happens to schools that let kids and parents know they can opt out. Is it even legal to skip the test? News 13's Chris McKee has been working to get you answers today. Kim, it really depends on who you ask whether or not this test skipping it is legal. Both state and federal statute, though, they require students to take the tests, but some districts are letting parents call the shots. It's been the talk of schools across New Mexico all week. Part testing is unfair. Standardized testing doesn't improve student achievement. I don't think we need a test. I think we need more learning time. We're more than just data. PARC is a computerized federal student test. This is New Mexico's first year using it. The state plans to use test data to grade teachers and schools. But lots of parents hate that idea. It's creating an environment that's hard for anyone to thrive in. Hundreds of Santa Fe High School students walked out on the tests this week. Now APS students are planning mass walkouts and protests next week. I'll give this to you. And parents are handing out opt-out forms in front of schools. But is opting out even legal? According to state and federal law, students must participate in standardized testing and cannot opt out. Despite that, Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, and Las Cruces are among the school districts that have made opt-out forms available for parents. Las Cruces schools even wrote on its own form that federal and state law doesn't allow exemption or refusal of the park test. Despite the legal questions, APS still has an opt-out posted on its own website. APS wouldn't do an on-camera interview, but says the state hasn't complained about any laws being broken by letting students opt out. Some call it civil disobedience. In an op-ed this week, Democratic State Senator Howie Morales wrote, quote, according to the U.S.'s 14th Amendment of the Constitution, parents do have a say and their rights are protected by Supreme Court decisions. We've been pressing PED for answers all day, and they just got back to us about a half hour ago, but they refused to answer any of our questions and either to say if the districts will let or go after students and parents who allow kids to opt out. The department would only say that they support the districts who follow the tests. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Chris. Now, adding to the confusion, some schools are telling parents that if their kids opt out of the test, it will be considered an excused absence. Others say it'll count as an unexcused absence.